Hi everyone, um, this is going to be a tutorial on how to use Font Awesome with your Android project. Uh, Font Awesome is a great uh, glyph icon package that's open source that includes like 400 plus glyph icons which make it great for any Android project. So let's go ahead and start by creating a new Android project from the command line. We're going to go And that should have created a new project for us. So the next step that we want to do is we want to go ahead and download the Font Awesome um, font file. So on the Font Awesome website, which I'm going to include in the write-up, um, you can go ahead and just download it. Let's find it. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, extract, extract the content and inside all we care about is the fonts and in particular we only care about the TTF file. So in our Android project go ahead and create a new folder called assets and for cleanliness purposes we're going to create a new folder called fonts. But that's completely optional. So inside that um, fonts folder, go ahead and drag the font awesome web font file over. Uh, I'm going to rename it just to make it shorter. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to open up the um, the layout file of this newly created Android project. So go ahead and resources and then layout and then go ahead and open with um, whatever, whatever text editor you want. So what we're going to do here is basically we're just going to add a font color by going um, text color and it, it's essentially just um, just a web font. Uh, you can do a hexadecimal uh, for color. So we're going to make it all white. And we're also going to change the text size to something larger because the, the current one is pretty small. So we're going to make it 28. And for this purpose we're also going to give it a, a variable name. So that way we can access it in our code. So we can do that by going id equals sample. Go ahead and save this file. Um, we're, we're done with it right now. So now that we've got that, we can actually start adding the code to make that um, XML element show the font awesome uh, glyph. So go to your source. Now that that's open, we need to add a few headers. So go ahead and import um, android.widget. That's going to be responsible for the text view. Let's go ahead and import a few more on top of that. Oops. Alright, with the few items added, we can go ahead and start doing our thing. 
So the first thing that we want to do is we want to set the, the typeface of our of our font to, to our font from the resource file. So let's go ahead and add the following. So like I told you in the beginning, I created a directory called fonts. You don't have to do that. Um, it's up to you. But the this will take you to the assets folder that we created. So anything anything extra is where to find the actual font file. So now we're going to load up our text view that we created. We've gone ahead and um, set the typeface of this, this text view that we created in our XML resource layout. And now we're going to give it actual text to display. Um, so if going back to Font Awesome, we can go to um, the icons. And we, ha we have a huge list of icons to choose from. So Let's go ahead and pick the camera, of all things. So what, what we're interested in is the Unicode to add to our Android code. So it's F030, so we're going to go ahead and copy that. And we just need to add a little bit extra. So we're going to do slash U for Unicode, and then we can go ahead and paste in the Unicode value. Let's go ahead and save it. And going back to our command prompt, let's go ahead and build this project. So navigate into the uh, example directory. What did I name it? Um, my example project. And we're going to do ant debug to make a debug build. Build successful. And let's go ahead and install it to our simulator. Success. So we found, here's our project. And just like we wanted, there is now a camera glyph icon inside of our inside of our um, activity. And that's basically all there is to it. Um, the good news with Default Awesome glyph icons is they're vector, so you can make them any size, and they will be just as clear as the small version will be just as clear as the large version. Um, so it. it takes a lot of pain out of making icons because in Android you when you use image files you have to worry about all the different screen densities and resolutions. Um, so if you like this if you like this um, this video blog I also have a write up which I'll include in the uh, as a link. You can view that if you would prefer to see all this written down. Go ahead and please subscribe to my channel as well as my blog. Um, there's going to be a lot more videos to come. Thank you.